Hard hits used to be accepted on the football field, but now with growing concerns about concussions with student athletes, the I team is taking action for you. Investigator Jared Holbrook has spent weeks looking at what type of helmets local schools are now using and how they rate. Go. Oh. Yeah, I'm very nervous. Every game, every play. I even think about it when he's not playing. It's hard for Rasta Taylor to forget about what happened to his son Taj two years ago on the football field. You start running down to the field, you're jumping over the fence, and you're just like, what's going on? And then, you know, he, his eyes were closed. He was, it was, it was a tough situation. Taj was knocked out cold. He was motionless for nearly 10 minutes. No, I'll never forget that, you know what I'm saying? I'll be stuck in my head forever. I, I just felt my head ringing. I couldn't really hear anything. It's happening more often. It's certainly a large problem. Dr. Jonathan Phillips runs a sports medicine division for Florida Hospital in Wesley Chapel. They even use virtual reality to treat concussions. He sees several new patients every week. Anywhere from four to eight patients a week. At a Virginia Tech research lab, every type of football helmet is put to the test. So as soon as a company has a new model, we buy it, test it, and put it on the rating. Every helmet gets a star rating, five being the best, and are or not recommended being the worst. The I-Team is taking action for you. We asked more than 120 schools in the greater Tampa Bay area what make and model helmet football teams are using. Only about 45% of the schools responded. After comparing them to the Virginia Tech rating system, we found of the responses, most have at or above average rated helmets. St. Pete High rated the lowest with two star rated helmets, which are considered just adequate. But 23 schools had top of the line equipment, including Largo High School where Taj plays. Um, there's a spot right here. You can pump it up with air if it's too, uh, too loose. Dr. Phillips believes the rating system helps, but what's more important than the brand is the fit. If the helmet is loose, you increase your risk of a concussion. And the more we can have these things fit, uh, the better they are uh, on the field and the safer these folks are. Dr. Phillips also says it's important for parents to pay attention to their children's behavior and symptoms after taking a hard hit. Sometimes kids want to play so bad, they may not say anything. They'll have glassy eyes, they'll be a little slumped with their eyelids, um, they may be slower in responding to words. With more reported concussions, treatment is getting more advanced. Coaches are getting more training by accredited organizations like Heads Up Football. But even all that and the best rated helmet won't stop Taj Taylor's parents from worrying. I I'm nervous. I think I'm always going to be nervous now, but we pray nothing like this happens again. You can head to our website where we're putting all of our research. Just find the story and the map, click on the icon of the school. You can see what make and model football helmet the team is using and what they're rated. You'll also be able to see which schools did not respond to us as well. I'm investigator Jared Holbrook, taking action for you.